I want to express unequivocal solidarity with you, my Palestinian Christian brethren and beloved Muslim friends. Unequivocal solidarity. And to the Muslims, our friends, my friends especially, I want you to understand that the people who are consenting to the murder of your children by the wicked Zionist state, falsely called Israel, who say they are Christians, but they consent to the theft of your homes and farms and your dehumanization. They are lying. They are not Christians. They are no more Christians than uh, ISIS is Muslims or Islam or Al-Qaeda is uh, Islam. They are fake, just like ISIS are fake Muslims. Christian Zionists who are cheering Israel are fake Christians. And if they do not repent, the Lord Jesus Christ will personally, the Messiah, will personally correct the record and say, these are not my people. He did not commission people to create Armageddon, to fulfill their end times fantasy. He did not commission them to uh, do injustice to you, to authorize people to rob from you, to fund people to steal you and uh, from you and murder your children and put you in concentration camps. Please hear my voice. I am a Christian. I speak for the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything they are saying, all their wicked, anti-Palestinian racist rhetoric, you can't find it in the Bible. You can't find it in the words of Jesus, the Messiah, whom the Israelis hate, whom they rejected, whom they slew. They killed him. And the Bible says, our Apostle Paul says, he, they are contrary to all men, against the interests of all humanity, enemies of humanity. Jesus personally looked their leaders in the eyes and said, you do the works of your father. They said, Abraham is our father. He said, you are sons of your father, the devil. So I'm encouraging all of you, and I know I don't have to tell you this. I think you know it. But for my own sake, let me say it. Call out to the Messiah. Call out to the name of Jesus. Cry out to him to defend you against these liars who call themselves Christians in the West, who support the liars who murdered him and are partakers with adulterers, with sodomites, with baby murderers, cry out to the Lord to avenge the Lord God, to avenge his name in the name of his anointed one, the Lord Jesus Christ. Here another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it round about and digged a wine press in it and built a tower and let it out to husbandmen and went into a far country. And when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the husbandmen that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husbandman took his servants, and beat one, and killed another, and stoned another. Again he sent other servants more than the first, and they did unto them likewise. But last of all he sent unto them his son, saying, They will reverence my son. But when the husbandmen saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him, and cast him out of the vineyard, and slew him. When the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbandmen? They say unto him, He will miserably destroy those wicked men, and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits in their seasons. Jesus saith unto them, Did ye never read in the Scriptures, The stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner? This is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say I unto you, The kingdom of God shall be taken from you, and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. And whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken, but on whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. And when the chief priests and Pharisees had heard his parables, they perceived that he spake of them.
But when they sought to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude, because they took him for a prophet.